Grinder is one of the old favorite decks in this game, as at the time of release, it was quite a powerhouse. Nowadays, not so much, but it's still a solid deck. Cheap on points and very straightforward to use. I mean, everyone knows how Grinder works, right? You hit enemies, you heal. Everyone knows this, but I doubt many people actually know how this works exactly. When people want to learn specific knowledge about this game, they usually go to the long guide. However, that won't work this time, because for the first time in history, the in-game description is correct and the long guide is wrong. Well, actually there's a fair amount of inaccuracies in the long guide, but this one has to be my favorite, because I don't even know how this happened. The long guide claims that Grinder heals 70 health over the course of 4.2 seconds in chunks of 4. Now, if you have a calculator handy, you'll notice that 70 isn't even divisible by 4. I have no idea why the guide says this, but the actual number is 56. Don't believe everything you see online, I guess. After hitting an enemy, you will heal for 56 health over the course of 4.2 seconds. But what counts as hitting an enemy? The other deck that works this way, Anarchist, has a completely different proc from Grinder. No idea, but here's a little quiz in which you can take guesses whether one proc works for Anarchist, Grinder, or both. Yeah, I don't know why these are different, or why Grinder got the short end of the stick, but it did. Anyway, this heal can be activated every 1.5 seconds, given you have a suit or LBB on. Grinder also increases your health by 40%, which makes sense given the deck is built around health rebuilding. If you don't have much health to rebuild, well, what's the point? Now, Grinder actually has another feature that I bet you don't remember. A 30% chance to pierce enemy armor. If you forgot that Grinder has this feature, I don't blame you, it's basically pointless. And sorry to spoil, but I won't have a build around this. I did originally, but it was just boring, and ended up being scrapped. Well, speaking of builds, let's get into them. As long as you're hitting enemies, you'll basically always have your heal up. So, to ensure we won't miss this window, it's time to pull out the most aggressive bullet hose in the game, the Akimbo Bernetti Auto Pistols. Although the pistols themselves are shockingly underwhelming in every aspect, having Gun Nut Aced makes them spew bullets just barely faster than the Vulcan minigun. The downside of spewing so many bullets is that you'll run out very fast, so watch out for that. I suggest tapping rather than holding, unless a special is in front of you. However, you do have a secondary to back you up when you run out though, being the Gruber. The Gruber also has a really high fire rate, but it is single fire, and unless you can click your mouse 13 times per second, don't expect to be maxing this one out. I don't have too much else to say about this build, so I'll go over something more general to Grinder. With Quick Fix, Underdog, and a Convert, you can take two heavy shots and live. I don't find this to be practical, since you have a pseudo two-shot most of the time anyway. From full health, taking a shot drops you to 189 health. If you hit Bullseye, you start your health regen, and you will go over 203 health in just over one second. And once your Bullseye gets taken out, you can take another health shot. It's not perfect, but relying on Underdog isn't any more trustworthy.
While Grinder doesn't really encourage playing dodge, Suit is a popular option. But unless you're low on points, there's no good reason to take Suit over LEV, especially without dodge skills. So, dodge skills it is! The Valkyria is a very concealable rifle, and not a terrible one either post-buff. Speaking of buff, the signature SMG. Now it's no longer useless, which is neat! It's nothing amazing, which is even neater. Overkill tends to mess up balancing 11 times out of 10, but I'm actually quite happy with this SMG now. It has a nice feel, as well as a reason to experience that feel. It's a bit bouncy with a slow reload, but has a big mag and passable damage to compensate. The slow reload also impacts the Valkyria, but is countered by lock and load aced. In the end, 25 dodge when sprinting doesn't really help Grinder, but hey, you'll survive things occasionally with its assistance. If you wanted to take this build more seriously, I'd suggest moving points for an LVV and getting Unseen Strike aced. That way, you really will be tearing through enemies. Or even just invest in Shock and Awe, because this build doesn't have anything against shields. Not a whole lot more to go over, so here's another little grinder thing. Hostage Taker. Despite being a health deck, I won't be taking Hostage Taker on any build. The reason for this is pretty obvious. You heal so much with Grinder that Hostage Taker is just a drop in the bucket. You won't even feel it. Grinder heals at 13.3 health per second, and Hostage Taker, at best, heals at 3.5 health per second. So averaged out, that's 12 points for a 25% boost, which just isn't worth it. Since you now know that to max out Grinder, you just need to shoot every 1.5 seconds, let's pick a weapon to match that exactly. Any weapon with 40 rate of fire shoots exactly every 1.5 seconds, so that leaves us with the Thanatos and Light Crossbow. I'm not exactly jumping at the thought of using a 15 shot capacity gun for a build that always needs to be shooting, so Light Crossbow it is. This was a build that unfortunately got derailed from the original idea. The light crossbow won't one-shot heavies to the body unless it crits, meaning you have to go for headshots. I can't hit headshots every 1.5 seconds out of a crossbow. I mean, I can't even guarantee I hit something every 1.5 seconds with a crossbow. And hell, it's a miracle if I can pull that off with any other weapon. My solution for this problem are poison bolts. Once you hit an enemy anywhere, head or body, the poison will kill them. As long as you hit any enemy, they're good as dead and you can focus on the next one. They die from poison damage over time, which also counts for Grinder, and uh, sorta kinda invalidates the purpose of this build. But hey, let's pretend. The only enemies that won't always die are Cloakers and Dozers. However, if you hit a Cloaker to the head, or just crit to the body, then take them as dead too. Dozers, and shields I guess, are what the 5-7 is here for. This pistol can dish out a concerning amount of damage, especially if you pull out that auto-clicker from earlier. However, these weapons are both good for single targets, but Payday 2 tends to have more than just a few enemies. For this reason, I brought in the support of two Joker Aced Converts. To be honest, these guys are likely to outkill you, but hey, this build is proof that not everything will go your way in life.
A lot of people believe that Grinder only works with Suitor of EV, which is just untrue. Only the first card is impacted by having a different armor on. You still get every other bonus in the deck. When I tell them that, people tend to complain that they still want the healing and yada yada. Well, fine. There's a solution for that too. The armor bag. And using how this game displays info to teammates, we can use any armor we want and still heal with Grinder. Since the game doesn't show secondary deployables, other players will just see 75 detection with an ICV, and you still heal in-game. Given you have anything that isn't the default outfit on, there's no visual cue to your armor choice. As long as you don't use the armor bag, the game still sees you as being in a suit. This means that healing and crits still happen, but unfortunately, there are bugs. I'm probably the first person to discover these bugs, because, let's be real, who uses an armor bag this way? Or at all. Let's start with a problem that could actually mess with you pretty hard. Upon dropping into a lobby, the game doesn't see your concealment correctly, so you can kiss your crits goodbye. The Lion's Roar and Heather SMG are strong enough to keep yourself above water, but if you want to go to a kill-heavy map, keep this in mind. The other issue is just visual, so who cares really, but I want to mention it anyway. There's no visual difference to the model after putting on armor if you're using the default suit. Overkill, please fix these game-breaking bugs. I'm considering quitting the game due to these. I don't have a whole lot more to say about this build other than probably don't use it. It's effectively just throwing points into the trash for a meme, but hey, that's what I do and why you're here. There's a concept in PD2 for perk tags that I like to call bullshit resistant. Grinder isn't one of them. I tried ARs, LMGs, GL SMG combo, but none of them saved me from the reaction time of an LMG donor. So I put my pride aside and grabbed the grab one of the most overpowered weapon archetype in the game. Here is the Akimbo SMG. A typical Akimbo SMG has 50% damage ramp up up close, which means triple the DPS of our rifle, double the DPS on medium range, and the same on far range, with double the ammo to boot. With this amount of DPS, you can kill stuff faster, which means you will live longer. Since Grinder isn't a bullshit resistant deck, higher DPS of Akimbo SMGs can solve the bad positioning mistakes for you by letting you kill stuff faster than they can kill you. The secondary is the one and only Para. This gun was always good enough, but they buffed the damage, so it is even better now. Triple SMG setups are almost always ammo efficient, letting you sustain your ammo indefinitely. Especially since this build has fully loaded aced. Oh yeah, fully loaded aced. I almost forgot about that. Fully loaded East renews your throwables by picking ammo boxes, which pairs nicely with the Molotovs and the new Wiper grenade. Throw these bad boys to a choke point or at random. Due to the amount of cups in cups spawn each wave, something will walk into it. Both grenades lets you regenerate health, so making good use out of them is the key to getting the most out of this build. There is only one problem. Fully loaded is broken. And the fixes mod, well, fixes it. I will tell Carrot to put a link in the description. Because this build is best used when picking up ammo boxes for the Molotovs, the ammo bags aren't that useful. So, drop one for the team, 
and hog the ammo boxes for yourself to maximize the efficiency. Not to say you can use your own ammo bag if need be, but if you are not picking up ammo boxes, you can commit war crimes. Speaking of war crimes, Viper Gas has a bug that will crash your game. The crash goes like this. If you finish a heist while the gas effect is still active, the mission cleanup code will try to remove the gas. But since there are no instructions on how to remove the gas, your game will crash. So, don't throw one when you're about to finish a heist. This bug just screams that Overkill didn't test this thing before they monetize it. Good job Overkill, here's a seal of approval. Anyways, that was my build that is made for choke point control and DPS. Thanks for Carrot for having me here. This was Bay1K and I hope to see you soon. That was Bay1K and I suggest you check out his channel. He has actual Payday 2 content, not just solos and builds, shocking I know. But if it is builds that you want, he recently uploaded a 69 builds video, so check that one out. But uh, don't count them, because there's actually not 69. Anyway, 5 grinder builds taking advantage of different elements. I also hope that you learned exactly how grinder works, because not a whole lot of people do. But if you already knew, then good on you. There's quite a lot you can do with the deck, since it's pretty cheap on points, and these are just some lesser used ideas, because come on, everyone has already done turret grinder, I don't need to be the one showing that to you. One last thing I want to touch on is first aid kits. I like to have them on grinder for pushing objectives, but you can very easily switch them off for doctor bags. It's not like you'll be using them to heal, so they're less valuable than on other builds. As always, the poll for the next deck will be up soon, so make sure to vote for your champion.